Thank you very much for watching these other videos that we have posted on our tube. And thank you for finding time to look at this one. We are very grateful for your support. And we want to do one more question today so that uh, we close the day. Thank you very much and you are most welcome. A question on probability and statistics from binomial probability distribution. Welcome. Now, we have a binomial distribution which has a mean of 40 and a standard deviation of 6. We are supposed to determine the probability of success and the sample size. I think this one is a very simple question we can do quickly. We know that binomial distribution mu is equal to np, where mu is the mean, n the sample size, and p the probability of success. So that q, which is probability of failure, is 1 minus p. So that sigma, which is standard deviation, is the square root of n times p into 1 minus p. Because it is variance, which is equal to n times p times q. Then from there we can get that one. Let's list down the things that we have from the question. We know the mean and we know the standard deviation. So the mean which is equal to n times p is equal to 40 and the standard deviation is 6. If we put them there, we get 6 is equal to the square root of 40 into 1 minus p. And square both sides, we get 36 is equal to 40 into 1 minus p. Then we can rearrange that equation, divide both sides by 40, we get 36 out of 40 is equal to 1 minus p. Rearranging it, we'll get that p is equal to 1 out of 10. If you rearrange that one and simplify. We know that n times p is equal to 40. We don't know n, but we know p, which is 1 out of 10, and that is equal to 40. Therefore, n is equal to, multiply both sides by 10, you get 400. So we have a sample size of 400, and the probability of success is 1 out of 10. And this goes without saying that probability of failure, which is q, is equal to 1 minus that, which is 9 out of 10. And that's the end of the question. If there's any other query, then we can handle that one in future lessons. But for now, that's what we have. And thank you very much for finding time to watch. And thank you for sending these questions. Keep those subscriptions coming and let's support this channel. And let's get this information to as many people as possible. And thank you very much once more.